Leonardo AI does it again. With new updates, new features, and new fine-tuned models, it just keeps getting better and better. And I'm gonna show you all these new amazing features today. And as a bonus, I actually have some awesome prompts that are actually prompt engineers specifically for Leonardo AI. So here's the first thing I wanna show you, one of Leonardo AI's latest updates. SDXL Plus Prompt Magic Version 3. Another upgrade designed to take your creativity output to the next level. Leonardo AI truly is a game changer. In fact, I love the persistence and how often they release new updates, new features, new improvements, and fine-tuned models. Now, if you haven't seen my most recent video specifically about Leonardo AI's alchemy, you have to try that out. So the first thing I want to do is really show you guys these new fine-tuned models. Check these all out right here. Now we have Dream Shaper version 7. So we're already familiar with Dream Shaper V5 and 6, but check this out right here. Some of these images look fantastic. This cheeseburger, incredibly realistic. I want to eat this burger and drink that drink in the background. We could look at some of the examples that this model makes specifically, and I tell you what, it looks fascinating, and this is Dream Shaper V7. Here's the prompt right here. Try it for yourself. I think you'll be very impressed with these new updates. So then moving on, we also have 3D animation style. Great at 3D film vibes, capable of complex scenes with rich color. And when you click on some of these you can just look at some of the realism in 3d that it provides for you right here these look fascinating now this one right here looks specifically like a pixar or a disney movie related character very impressive and then you can just scroll over and look at a few more examples of these prompts it's just quite fascinating how leonardo ai has come so far okay so then the next one is absolute reality version 1.6 this looks fascinating too a photorealistic style model from lycon great at all sorts of photorealism. Now, in my opinion, this is where Leonardo AI is really going to shine. When they introduced Alchemy in beta mode, it really focused on photorealism, specifically for one of the presets. You're going to get some very realistic photos, just like you see on my screen right here. I clicked this first one, and you can look at this girl. Amazing. It looks so fascinating and so real. You can see the prompt right here. Dream Shaper V6 does another fantastic job, specifically for if you're wanting to create like an anime type style. I'm going to show you guys some really good prompts to use, specifically specifically for Leonardo AI and test them out with these new fine-tuned models. But make sure you stick around because you're not going to want to miss out on how to use these prompts. These are all the prompts I'm going to share with you. Now, don't worry. I'll have a link in my description for you to access all these prompts right here. And you can copy and paste them specifically for yourself and use any other keyword that you want to replace with mine within the bracketed text. So I have four of these amazing prompts I'm going to share with you today. One is specifically made for alchemy, but it's perfect timing because this one prompt is going to create eight different prompts within it itself. An anime style AI art image creative style, dynamic, all the way down to ray traced and 3D rendering style. So let's go first over to ChatGPT and I'm going to paste the first prompt in right here, just like this. And it says, I need you to become the ultimate prompt generating machine. Create me a prompt that actually generates prompts specifically for AI images like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Leonardo AI. When generating these prompts, please keep these characteristics in mind. Now watch this. It says, yes, I understand. Before I proceed, please clarify the specific subject or theme you would like the prompt to be about. All you have to do next is just describe to ChatGPT exactly what you're looking for and then watch this happen. So now down here in the ChatGPT, I'm just going to type in photorealistic elephant. Hit enter and now watch this. Here's a prompt that focuses on generating AI images of a photorealistic element. We don't have to stop there. If you have some more ideas in your head, and there's something else. In this case, just do an owl. You can do different animals. You can do different people, different subjects, and just keep going within ChatGPT. Okay, so just like that, I have three prompts from a photorealistic elephant, an owl, and a modern woman at the beach. Let's take these and see exactly how Leonardo AI can craft these for us. So back over into Leonardo AI, let's go ahead and try SDXL. Okay, now check out this elephant right here. This one I chose RPG 4.0, and I have Alchemy actually turned on over here in the left-hand side of my screen. What this does is Alchemy is going to create these presets right here to add more adjective type characteristics. So I have RPG 4.0, which is pretty good for like making people, and the preset photography, since I want a photorealistic photograph of an elephant, and this did a phenomenal job. I use this one with the new SDXL 
Leonardo style and you could see how these generated these elephants right here. So the next one I did was I copied and pasted this one right here. Generate a vibrant and highly detailed AI image of a modern woman at the beach. Check this out in Leonardo AI. And it did just that perfectly. So this one was actually created with the RPG 4.0 model alchemy turned on and then photography this looks great right here look at some of these right here so if you like a specific model or an image like this you can actually copy and paste this prompt and then you could actually just modify it a little bit to get more details more tone to your liking but if you scroll down you could see some of these amazing images that it made with this new update sdxl.9 and then you can see the same thing with this absolute reality one right here. Now check out this right here. Cute baby creature from another universe. I really wanted to take full advantage of Leonardo AI's new 3D version. So the next step was I just told ChatGPT one word puppy. And then it created me this exact prompt that you see right here on my screen. And then pasted it directly within ChatGPT. Now over here on the left hand side you could see what I used. I used the new 3D animation style fine tuned model. And then this just did a fantastic job. Just with the word puppy, here's the prompt right right here that I pasted from ChatGPT, and then here are the images that Leonardo AI crafted for me. This is a perfect 3D animation style puppy, exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so now this next prompt is a very impressive prompt. Now, keep in mind, it's going to look very familiar to the prompt we just used prior. Now, here's what I mean by this. Here's the next prompt we're going to use, okay? Here's the next prompt. It's this one right here with the blue line around it. We use this prompt first. Now, the first prompt is going to just create a prompt directly outright. It's a prompt generator, but it's going to just craft the prompt right out of the bat. Now, the prompt that we're actually going to use right now, this one right here, it's going to craft a prompt for you. ChatGPT is going to ask you, do you want it to create a series of prompts to use, or do you want it to just go ahead and create a prompt for you right away? In this case, we're going to go with the first option. We're going to ask ChatGPT, once I copy and paste this prompt in, here's my prompt. ChatGPT is going to ask you, do you want me to give you a prompt, or do you want me to create a series of prompts, basically becoming a prompt engineer for you. I'm going to go ahead and say I want you to be my prompt engineer generator. Just like this, go ahead and copy this prompt just like this. Now again, there'll be a link in my description to where you can do just that. Once you have it pasted in, here's what I mean. I pasted this prompt in and ChatGPT says, yes, I understand. To clarify, you would like me to generate a prompt that specifically generates prompts for AI images. Would you like me to generate a specific prompt for you? Would you like me to come up with a few prompt ideas? What specific subject or theme would you like the prompt to be about? Simple. So then I just tell ChatGPT, come up with a few prompt ideas with the keyword butterfly. And now check this out. Immediately, it's going to do just that. It's going to say, certainly, here are a few prompt ideas with the keyword butterfly. It gives me five really good prompt ideas I could use right away, specifically for the word butterfly. Where you can see, going back to the first one I used, it's just going to automatically create the prompt for me. So going back to this, we have five variations of the word butterfly and five prompt ideas that ChatGPT came up with. Okay, now look at these right here. Here's the first one I used. Now, this one is very good. I took advantage again of the 3D animation style with the 3D render alchemy preset and look at these right here these look fantastic and to be completely honest this one is one of the best i've seen so far very good job this was using the new 3d animation style with the 3d render alchemy preset now this series of this role right here was absolute reality version 1.6 with the photography preset absolute reality version 1.6 leonardo style right here and then you can see i have this one right here which is also good absolute reality once again okay moving on let me show you guys another amazing prompt you definitely are going to want to try now this one i've used before i specifically made this prompt for Leonardo AI Alchemy. So as you copy and paste this prompt, it's going to create you different variations, one through eight of each style. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt right here to ChatGPT and copy this prompt right here. Now what ChatGPT is going to do, it is going to go ahead and create a different variation off of each one of these eight characteristics. Now watch this. All you have to do is just give it a specific topic to talk about. In this case, I'm going to use Vibrant City. Now watch this. Just by typing in Vibrant City, it's giving me eight different prompts to use, all with different characteristics. Look at this right here. So Vibrant City, I have an anime style prompt now. I have a creative style. I have an environment style, illustration style, realistic, professional photo style, ray traced, and then 3D rendering style. And then it shows you what the camera shot and the camera lens is. Description will be the actual prompt. So let's Let's go ahead and just copy one of these prompts right here, or if you're not happy with these prompts, you can come on down and enter something completely different. And so I can add something completely different. In this case, I added futuristic outer space. And then again, it's going to do the same exact thing. It's going to provide you with eight different characteristics that you can use. 
Here are three options that Leonardo AI gave me right here. Pretty good. And then here's another variation using the Absolute Reality version 1.6. And then here's another one with Absolute Reality. And then one more for 3D animation style. All very good. Now moving on, let me show you the final prompt that you guys are going to really enjoy. This one you might have seen before. This one is specifically going to be for creating futuristic neon logos. One of my favorites to use in Leonardo AI. Here's the prompt right here that I'm hovering over. I'm going to copy this whole entire cell and then try this with a few of the new updates that just came out. Now check this one out. This is amazing right here. This was used with the 3D animation style, Leonardo style. Check out this line right here. Oh man, I love this a lot. Very good job. Let's do the same thing, but try it this time with the frog. But going back to that, man, this lion looks very good. It's almost like a good mascot. So now I did the same thing and I replaced the word lion with the word frog and then I got this. And then look at over here. I used the new SDXL Leonardo style and then I got these series of lion logo type mascots. Very good too. We have RPG 4.0 Leonardo style and then we have this one right here. We have RPG 4.0 but 3D render preset style. Very good. And then look at this one over here. 3D animation style 3D render. And then we'll end it with a Dream Shaper V7 3D render version. Pretty cool. This one might be one of my favorites right here. This looks fantastic. So overall, very, very good. So now just to sum everything up, let me just cap this off by showing you very quickly the capability of utilizing Leonardo AI's prompt generating tool. So very quickly, I'll show you. Right now, we're under image generation. Let's say you have another idea. All you have to do is select prompt generation right here and then enter in just your basic prompt idea. Now watch this. So all you have to do is come over here underneath prompt generation and then type in something. Specifically, if you're looking for logo, I highly recommend using the word minimalistic. So let's go ahead and just say we like number two, hit generate on the right hand side. Now once you hit generate, it's going to automatically generate a series of logos for you. But from there, you might not get the right variation you like right away because I'm over here toggled on to Dream Shaper V7. However, that's where you can just come into Leonardo AI and then just choose a different variation of fine tuned model. But for the first one on Dream Shaper, here's what it made for me for the logo of a fox. Not bad. Not exactly what I was looking for because I wasn't planning on generating it with the Dream Shaper V7 for a logo. However, this 3D animation style one with a 3D render preset might look pretty good. Now check this one out. Here is the 3D animation preset. This looks pretty good for a fox. I like this one. And then we could wrap it up with just the basic, one of my favorite, Leonardo Diffusion. Same exact prompt, but a completely different design. So with the same prompt, you're going to get three different designs, specifically with this first and second row. Nothing's changed other than the prompt. The magic of Leonardo Auto AI is that you can use the same exact prompt, but then from there just choose a few different fine tuned models or presets, and then just like that, you'll get completely different variety of images. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.